everyone! A Hero's Rest has been in early access for a week and we have been receiving a lot of great feedback. So we've put together a patch and prepared a quick overview of the new additions in A Hero's Rest Patch 0.299 Quality of Life Part 1. To make navigation more comfortable, you can now fast travel to the trader and weapon master by using the button that appears in the bottom left corner of your screen when the trader or weapon master have set up camp. The inventory menu has been reworked to make it easier to read. You can now use the buttons at the top to select an item category. Furthermore, you can use the subcategory filter to single out specific item types. At any point, you can also filter your items by tier if you want to know exactly what to craft next. The Hero Manager has also been reworked so you can check exactly what your heroes are up to. It now shows the minimum and maximum CR of heroes currently displayed. The new buttons allow you to filter by class or sort your heroes by their current status to keep track of what they are going to do next. You can also use this to filter out and keep track of your favorite heroes. We added a new sub-menu to the Hero Manager, which allows you to manage your classes and pause or allow recruitment of specific classes if you feel like you have enough heroes that chose it. You can use the filter buttons from the previous menu to switch between your classes to be able to see which proficiencies they are already trained in and even change the current class badge. The legacy button will also allow you to do this for the legacy classes. These are the highlights of patch 0.299 for Heroes Rest. If you'd like to see everything included in this patch, you can read the full patch notes linked in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content on a hero's rest.